Okay, hello, welcome. We're going to be continuing with Pool of Radiance tonight. First up, let me just get it all set up again. <laughs> you should see my desktop, I have so many windows open for all the different parts of this. Uh, and also just for preparation for other parts. Oh, what? No. Uh, let's is that the right one? Ah, uh, did I change the size of that when I was playing something else? Uh, load, save game. Yes, load A. And there we go. And I go to A, search, gold box companion, and there we go. Just a bit more. So it is, I don't know, broadly in line with each other. Right, now, uh, what were we doing? We were exploring the slums over here. Hey, look at that. I should have noticed it in the uh, second episode, but the game is actually remembering where we've explored. Which is very nice. Or oh, the uh, gold box companion is remembering where we explored last. That's nice. Uh, let me have a look at my notes. So. Our commissions still are to clear the slums to the west. We haven't done that completely here. There's down here to clear out and over here to clear out. Uh, as I said last time, we're most likely not going to be able to clear out this entire area all at once. Uh, we'll have to go to the next area to be able to do that because we'll have to level up a bit. Because there's one fight down here I remember which is really... Um... Kind of really quite hard, <clears throat> so we'll have to uh, work on that. Oh, also, uh, for people on YouTube, I probably won't have too much of an issue with this game because this is quite an old game, but I had updated OBS last time and it had messed with my recording settings. So I noted when I was playing Warhammer 2 Total War last night, I was getting a lot of skipped frames. I believe it was quite laggy at points in the game because of the uh, extra stress on my computer. I've changed it again so that it uh, should be less of a strain of a computer. Um, and it probably won't be a problem for this game just because it's so simple, but if the quality is different, I apologize. I haven't had a chance to actually have a look at it on my own time. Uh, so we'll just have to see how things go. Um, my professionalism knows no bounds. <laughs> anyway, um, what else? Sokol Keep to be cleared. Yeah, that's a long-term goal. Bring history books to council and clerk. That's not too much of a long-term goal, but that's in a specific location, which we're not at yet. Uh, there's proclamations also. Get information about a graveyard. Get information about missing peoples at the graveyard. Find Tamalg, the invincible in the graveyard. And clear city blocks. Uh, there's also some notes I wrote about the slums area here. The old hemp market. Over here. We found a note which said Tre treasure in northwest corner. Oh, well. That's up there. So we actually found that. I can write here in my notes. Uh, done. There we go. I believe it's a whole bunch of money. Uh, some gems and some neck necklaces which is very nice we also found in this room here an old man uh, called Olo and he sent us off to get a potion from a booth in the old rope guild which I believe is over here so we will probably do that at some point I think that's over here somewhere we might be able to do that um yes okay let us continue For the most part, we're just going to be going to wander, wander around, see what trouble we can find ourselves into, and uh, we can get ourselves into, and deal with any nasties that we uh, come across. We were just north of the entry to the old rope guild. Yes. Uh, also, there was here. There was a. Uh, <clears throat> uh, this is something I didn't do last time because we got a bucket, but handed to us, but in here is a fortune teller who tells us combat is in our future. <laughs> and then we went north here, and we got into a big fight with a whole bunch of orcs. 
Uh, too many orcs for me to deal with at the time. We might be able to deal with them a bit better now. Because at the end of last time, you'll note my char our character's stats are higher. We leveled up. Everyone went up a level. Scampers is nearly up to level 3. But everyone's level 2. Balagar has 18 hit points. Arala has 18. Volkmar has 15. 13 for Scampers. 5 for Egrim. And 6 for Elspeth. So that's nice. I believe at level 3, our two fighters... I keep trying to like mouse over them to point at the different characters but one my mouse doesn't show up on it and every time i mouse over it it actually switches over uh, egrim and i can't even point at it because egrim is just above here where my mouse pointer is in my screen however i've expanded the uh size of the uh character bar for the benefit of viewers so it's not lining up correctly um, in the uh, actually recorded footage. Oh well. Uh, Egrim and Elspeth, I think we'll get another spell slot in level 3. I think they've only got one still. They did learn some new spells, and I believe I learned Magic Missile with both of them. Which is a good standby. It's like the bread and butter spell for mages, aside from sleep. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's go into the rope guild. Actually, I'm going to win camp. Save. Rest. Nope. Okay. And go in. You have entered the mysterious building that was once the rope guild. Most who venture into its twisty halls never return. How ominous. Let's go down here. And... A whole bunch of rooms. Hmm. Why is it so twisty here? Oh, hey, that looked different. Saw that. <clears throat> hey, it's a shop inside of a shop. Let's go in. A man hurries forward. I'm sorry, noble ones, but I have nothing to sell. What do you do? Uh, speak. What do you want to say? Type a single word. Uh, we will type. Olo. Wait a moment, the man says. He hurries to the back of the booth and returns with a package. Here, he says. Thanks. So that was the guy we had to see to get the potion. And we'll just finish exploring this area here. Uh, go up. There we go. Ooh, there's another area all the way at the end of the hall there. There we go. Ow! don't think there's anything s hidden on the floor. I'm searching now, but... Hmm. We may as well search. It doesn't seem like monsters are spawning. It says just before monsters spawn. Go back over here. And... I don't blame you if you're looking at the map over to the right to tell where I'm going. I'm currently doing that as well. <laughs> Ow. Okay, nothing there. I'm just going to have to check because there, as I said, there is a specific area which we definitely don't want to go into yet, but I believe it has a door in front of it. Uh, that might be it, actually. Okay, so, yes. Uh, that little room there. Uh, here. Which I avoided. Uh, we don't want to go in there yet. There's monsters in there. Tough monsters. Do I want to show them off? Nah, just trust me. There's tough monsters in there. Just because of the amount of time it will take for me to reload the game. And all that. Uh, we'll see them though. We'll probably see them and get our butts handed to us anyway. But I think I want to deal with them when we're like level 3 or something. Okay. 
Hey, uh, pick. Bash the door down again. You have done well. Give me the potion and you will be rewarded. Uh, give the potion, ask for more money, or refuse to give. Let's give it to him. The man takes the potion and gulps it greedily. Uh, something, something, something. RC has found treasure. Each character receives 558 experience points. Yay! Uh, I think he take. I think he drank the potion. Probably said something like, "You can take anything you find in my house," and he vanishes. Let's get the money. Ooh, 150 platinum and one piece of jewelry. And take. Ooh, a cloak. Hey, that's pretty cool. Take that. That's probably a magic cloak. You go out the door. I like that when to get into his house, you have to break the door down. <laughs> Both times. Can we actually search the rest of his house? Yeah, okay. There's nothing else in here. So, let's see that cloak. Uh, let's see. You have AC0. Can you wear it? You can. Ooh. They actually added a uh, stat to him. Invisible. And it's apparently stacking it. Even though the cloak is off. Yes. Now it's free. That doesn't seem correct. It's not removing it when I take it off. It's a cloak of invisibility though. That's uh, nice. Well. No. Items. Trade. Mm, I'm going to give it to El Egrim. There we go. Actually, I think I'm going to give it to Elspeth, because Elspeth has lower AC. So you can make better use of it than Egrim. Elspeth. Items. Yes. Cloak. Camouflaged. That's different from invisibility, isn't it? Hmm. Might have to get it uh, identified. Oh, there we go. Okay, it was stacking them until a turn had passed, or time had passed. And then when I moved, it, uh... Removed the effects. Okay, yeah, because when we're standing still, no time's, no time's t um, turning. Uh, let's go back up here. Is there any other rooms I want to have a look at? I think I've searched pretty much all the rooms. Uh, there's a little area here which I haven't gone into. Bash the door down. Again. Someone keeps repairing these doors. Okay, there's nothing there. And there's nothing there. There is this door here. Uh, in camp. Save. A. O. You wander into the old hemp market. Monsters are all over the place or something like that. There's a secret treasure room in the northwest corner. Okay, the cycles are probably a bit high. That's why the messages are going past too quickly. However, if I turn them down, the uh, combat will take a lot longer. So, there's not really a happy medium with that. Okay. Go this way. Is that where the monsters are? That. Hmm. That's into the next area. Bash the door down. Oh, hello. You have alerted the guards. Oh, a bunch of goblins. That is a lot of goblins. And I've got bows. Great. Ow. Uh. Move. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got two attacks there, do you see? It's because we're gone up a level. Uh, aim. Bonk. Ow, ow. Uh. No. Exit. Do you not have spells memorized? Volkmar, you're my spellcaster. Use. Can you not cast spells? Is your armor too high for you to cast spells? 
Priests can wear plate armor. Hmm. Oh yeah, you'll see Elspeth is camouflaged and invisible. Nice. Uh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ha ha. Two goblins are dead. Uh. Cast it. There. There we go. And you can cast another sleep. Uh, let's see. Right, I cast it here. Cast it up there. Ow. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah. Ow. Ow. Damn it. No, not done. Cast. Another sleep. Okay. Uh, bandage Irala. Yeah. Cast. Sleep. You can cast that. There. There we go. There's only two of them who are awake now. Well done! Okay, let's uh... No, don't attack ally. Let's uh, try and quickly get rid of these guys. Aim. You. Before you wake up. Oh, you can get double hits off on them if they're asleep even. <laughs> Once again, we show our valor by mercilessly slaughtering sleeping enemies. Done. Bam. And there we go. Okay, done. Uh, quit. Oh, you can cast. You just couldn't cast because you're in combat? Hmm. Done. Guard. Uh, yes, continue battle. Done. Guard. Done. Guard. Done. Delay. Um, God. Wait. I don't know why sometimes it's like you can't guard with a character. I suppose it's something to do with what spells they have, or what, what weapons they have or something. They can't guard with a ranged weapon, maybe? No. <laughs> it's a little heal. No, don't continue battle. Hey, we win! And uh, each character receives 78 experience points. Neat. Take the money, 480 silver, I'll take that. And take, that is a lot of items. Okay, uh, who's taking this? Belagar. Right, take. 10 arrows, longbow, scale mail. <laughs> Overloaded. Uh, your turn. Of course I got to take it all. <laughs> Yes, I want to claim the treasure. Uh, take. I like how the game is like, you know, there's stuff left here. Are you sure you want to leave? We might not actually be able to take it all. There's so much of it. This is where graphics would help so much. Tell what's magical and what's not. That is a lot of old sword and leather. Kind of feel like maybe we should have a uh, detect magic spell. 
which I don't have memorized. So I hmm. Can I do the fight again? The detect magic. Uh, was the detect magic memorized? Hmm. It's just it helps identifying whether any items are magical, obviously. Otherwise, I'm just I I, I don't know whether the game puts magical items at the uh, top of the uh, radiance. I don't know whether it puts like magical items at the top of the uh, at the top of the item list or anything. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. Um. What have you got? Short sword. Longbow, short sword. Yeah, well, 18 arrows. What's left? Exit. Exit. Short sword, studded leather armor, a shield. Now we can leave all that. Nope. Okay, leave it. Uh, and I'm going to go back to town. Just so that we can sell all this stuff, which we're weighed down with. Also, so that we can get our coins. Converted into smaller denominations. I think the game does that automatically because I've noted when we've gone to the shops, we tend to end up with a lot of platinum. I think the game automatically converts it to the highest amount as possible. Uh, we need to go down this way. Okay, camp, uh, save, no. Go into the store. Hello! Yes, I do. Uh, cooler money. Belagar. Items. And, right, so this short sword sell. Zero gold pieces, so that's not magical. Longbow. <clears throat> 25 gold pieces. That's not magical, I'm betting, because that is a pitiful amount of money. I mean, it's a nice amount of money, but it's nowhere near as much as this magical short bow, which is 1,750. So I'm pretty confident that's just a normal long bow. Even though 25 is like, oh boy. Uh, 7 for the scale mail, that's fine. 20, 1 gold piece for the 20 arrows. I'll keep them, just because arrows are nice. Yep, 1 gold for the um, short sword. No, keep them and sell that. Okay, looks like it's all just junk. Items. Uh, sell the. Oh no, that's your magic short bow. That's the magical arrows as well. Yes. Ooh, that's another magical short bow. So that might be something we picked up. Seven gold for the scale mail. We don't need that. 25 for the longbow, sell the short bow, short sword, sell, sell the scale mail, and we can... Okay, um, I'm pretty sure the arrows can only be in stacks of 20. Mm, so we've got two uh, short bows plus one, I believe they are. Um, I don't think priests can use short bows, no. Or clerics can't use short bows because they're piercing. And clerics are resist are limited to only using blunt weapons. <clears throat> I believe it's a whole sort of priestly can't spill blood thing. Uh Volkmar. Items. You have a longbow. 25, that's fine. Short bow, one. Scale mail, seven. Uh sell the arrows. You don't need them. 
And a shop bow. There we go. Exit. Exit. Scampers. Hmm. Got a long sword, but that is for you to wield. So that's fine. Scale mail. I think you could wear that, but no, no, you can't. Thieves are restricted to leather armor. I was going to say I think you could wear it, but you're going to not. You you won't have access to your thief abilities. But this game doesn't exactly have thief abilities. Uh, yep. So, so. Sell, 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 sell. Go. And view items. Sell the scale now. Sell the arrows. I'm taking my time because I don't want to miss any uh, magical items which we might have. Since the game. As I found last time, I reminded myself again last time, but I see how much this sells for. 3,000 gold. Pretty nice. Uh, since I, as I found last time, even if you don't have a magical item identified, the game still sells it at the price it would be if it was like, you know, if it was actually listed as a magic item. They can tell. They just know. And they don't want to shortchange you on it. Unlike other games where if you don't identify a magic item, they're just like, oh, well, it's just an item. There we go. Okay, pull the money. And how much money is that? 480 silver, 61 gold, uh, 372 platinum, which, how much is that? Get the calculator out again. Mm, 372 times 5 equals 1,860 gold. Plus 61. 1,921. And what's the denomination for silver? Ugh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Welcome to Pool of Radiance, where we do accounting. I'm glad all my adventurers don't need to be paid. Okay. Is it this one which has the uh, breakdown of the... Uh... Here we go. Silver. 20 silver pieces equals one gold piece. Okay, so uh, if we do 80 divided by 24. So that's uh, 24 more gold. So 1, 9, plus 24. 1,945 gold pieces. Nearly 2,000. Um, exit. Share them out. Belagar. Uh, appraise your piece of jewellery. Jewellery is valued at 3,408 gold pieces. <laughs> well, we're going to more than double our, double our money there. We can keep it. And it's actually a bit better because we won't be weighing ourselves down with all that money. <laughs> um, even though they'll split it up into uh, platinum. You know. Uh, yeah, I might keep it actually at that. at Just at the uh, jewellery. So we've got it there. We know it's worth a, a huge amount of money. Um, but we won't be carrying the money around until we need it. And I don't know whether we, we, whether we will be needing it or not. I assume more shops will become available later on in the game. I don't think I've ever gotten that far. These shops don't sell magical items. So let's go. Out of here, calculator. And do. Okay. Uh, no, I'm going the wrong way. Up this way. And... Hmm. Okay, we have to go back into the uh, slums. Camp. Save. B. O. Uh, magic. Memorize. Volkmar. I'm going to get you to memorize a detect magic spell. Because I keep saying that I would wish I had one. 
So we're actually going to get one. You cast a sleep spell, so I'll get you a cast a sleep spell again. I would like to get a magic missile. You might also, if I find scrolls for them to ident, um, if I find scrolls, uh, for magic users, because <clears throat> the way, okay, uh, when a magic user goes up a level, you get to choose one spell to learn. However, you can learn more spells than that. You just have to find scrolls with the spells inscribed on them. And uh, the mage will have to use the read magic spell to be able to inscribe the spell into their spell book. So if I find a scroll of, say, Burning Hands, and I want that spell instead of selling it, I will probably um, transcribe it to the spell book anyway, just because we're going to collect all the spells. <laughs> um... Because I like the option. And it is useful in certain regards, having a fire spell. Um, where was I going with this? The thought just went out of my head. If I need to transcribe a spell, I will rest, memorize the spell, read magic, and then or I'll memorize the spell, read magic, rest, and then cast it. And then just afterwards rememorize re memorize the spell which I'd use in combat. Um Do I want another sleep spell? Probably. At the moment that's still the best thing to have. Shield, I can cast on another character, but it only hits one. And out of them, sleeping, like up to nine enemy units, is better than just buffing one of my guys. Magic Missile is nice. Oh, oh pardon me. Um, but at the moment it will be only, I think, one Magic Missile. So it's not that much better than like a Slingshot. But it is permanent. It is constant damage. They can't dodge it unless they have a Shield spell. Memorize them. Uh, memorize. Just memorize sleep. There we go. And rest. Partly is rudely awakened. Damn it. A surprise by kobolds. Oh dear. Oh look, there's some kobold leaders in here. And we don't have any sleep spells, so we're just gonna have to carve through them. Ow! I was just gonna say, Arana's doing pretty good at dodging all those attacks. Damn it, damn it, damn it. No, don't attack ally. I like how it's got the option to attack your ally. I don't know why it would have that. Guard. In case they get close to you. Okay. Attack him. Bonk. Hoya! Hoya! Ho ho! Uh, guard. Uh, move forward and attack. What? Bonk. Guard again, and guard. Move forward, attack. Ooh, nice. Ow. You dealt one point of damage. Oh, now, ow. Uh, guard again. Great. Ugh. I believe, uh, okay, you should see Elspeth is camouflaged. I think how it works, Elspeth was invisible before, but because she attacked, uh, the invisibility was broken, so people can see her now. But I think camouflage still gives her a chance to dodge attacks. It's still harder to hit her. But her AC is pr very high anyway, so it's not going to be that much of a, uh, you know, not much of that, not much of a, not much of a difference. You know, it's still probably going to be easier to hit her than, uh, Volkmar. And they run. Done. Guard. Done. Actually, no. Well, Irana's unconscious, not dying, so that's fine. 
No, don't continue battle. Yay, 22 experience points. What do we find? Money! A whole bunch of copper. 224 and 6 gold. That's not even a gold piece, I don't think. How much is a gold? Uh, copper? 200 copper pieces equals 1 gold. Okay, so that was at least 1 gold. Uh, and take the items. Do we want this? Uh, we're actually getting to the point that such piffly, piddly things aren't worth our time. I'm going to take them all. Because <laughs> that's how we roll. Um, okay, save again. B, no, rest. No, don't rest because we didn't memorize our spells. Uh, I'm going to rememorize another Cure Light Wound spell. Actually, I'm going to cast Cure Light Wounds, and I'm going to cast it on Arada. Hooray, Arada's back. Uh, we did have Curse, actually. Oh, wait. Uh, memorize. No, don't memorize these spells. Cure Light Wounds. Yes. Uh, Egrim. Two sleeps. Yes, Elspeth. Memorize. One sleep. No. Don't memorize that. Elspeth. Two sleep. Yes. You have to change the uh, memorize spell list again. So you have to say, oh, I was going to memorize one sleep spell, but then I got into combat. Uh, actually, I want to memorize two sleep spells. So you have to say, I don't want to memorize one sleep spell. I want to memorize two sleep spells. The, uh, the later games in the series make the whole memorizing spells much better. It uh, remembers the... I believe it remembers the spells you uh, wanted to memorize last. Rudely awakened again. Surprise the party of orcs, somehow. Um, combat, while well, we've got the uh, element of surprise. I was going to say, well, I was wondering whether they might flee, but probably not. Move. Guard. You can just guard. Move up. Guard. 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 Aha! Aha! Okay. Uh, well, I did want you to guard, but I thought guard wasn't an option. I suppose in case they get through my front line, you'll get a free ex free round of attacks against them. Come on! Oh, great! Rala's now dying. I just want to sleep. Let me sleep. Done. Bandy Gerala. Hello. Welcome. Got that orc. Got that orc. And they're fleeing. Guard. Get that orc. They all got to run away. Stab him. Oh well. Continue the battle. Can I give you a number between two and ten? Uh, six. There we go. Um, let's see. Take the silver, 192. Uh, pool. Oh, we don't need to pool it. There was only money. Oh, well. End camp. And we've got to go through this again. Slave, save. No. Uh, Orgmar. Rise. Two cure light wound spells. Egrim. Memorize the two sleep spells. Exit. Yes, actually no. Vokma, I didn't want to learn cure light wounds. I wanted you to learn one of those and a detect magic. Detect magic. Elspeth. Uh, two sleep spells. Go. And rest. Ugh. 
Fire group of seedy looking orcs. Flee. Monsters flee. Well, we didn't have to fight them. Uh. In camp. Let's try this again. There, there always seems to be more monsters when you're, uh. Badly injured. Exit. No, I don't, because I just pressed that. There, there, there we go. Egrim, to sleep. Thank you. Elspeth, to sleep. Thank you. And. Oh, thank you. Okay, but we're not out of it yet. Save on B. Orkmar, cast spell. Your cure light wound spell. They roll. Um, hmm. I'm kind of tempted just to cast all my spells so I can memorize four cure life wound spells and get this all over fast over with faster. Lose it? Yes. We can bless our guys out of combat. Here we go. No, memorize. And rest. Thank you. Okay. Memorize? No, not memorize. Cast. Two life wounds on Irama. Ooh. Come. Ugh, of course, it took all of those to heal one person. Exit. Save. B. No. Magic. Memorize. Four cure light wounds. Memorize. Thank you. No attacks. Um, two light wounds on Fogma. Fogma. Scampers. Scampers. Great. Rise. Exit. Save. B. Rest. Rudely awakened. Flee. Oh, you can actually see we fled. Uh, but we ran to a random room. Resting. Can we actually, like, rest in a side room and it'll be a bit better? Try that. Bash the door. Okay, in camp. Orkmar. Uh. Yes. Exit. Save. B. O. Rest. There we go. Play a lot of interesting games? Well, I hope so. <laughs> um, there's a lot of old games which I never got around to playing, and discovering them later I would like to m make my way through them, so... Also, I like RPG. So finding all of these ones is... kind of right up my alley, even though these are quite old, but... The base mechanics behind them I find enjoyable. Uh, exit. Cast. That on scampers. Cast. Hey Grim. Hey, well done. And on Elspeth. There we go. Okay, Volkmar, I want you to mm, get a bless, get a curse, and get a detect magic. Go. And exit, save, B, O, rest. Thank you. Okay, save, A, no. There we go. We're not completely healed up. Balagar has one hit point missing, but that's good enough. Crash the door down. Uh, just as a sign, if anyone has any questions as to what's going on or anything like that, I'd be happy to. Answer to the best of my knowledge. Hmm. Oh, we haven't gone in there. Okay, what's this? Bash the door down. Ah, yeah, this is where we, uh, sort of went a bit briefly. Also, a hey, exit. This large room is apparently empty. Hmm. 
You find a loose floorboard. Prying it up, you find a chest hidden beneath the floor. Do you take it? Uh, yes. The party has found treasure. Each character receives 383 experience points. Loot. Money. 200 platinum and two gems. Nice. Also, ooh, a shield and a magic user scroll with one spell. Uh, take. Delegar can't take the shield because he's weighed down by junk and a spell scroll. So, Egrim can take that. There we go. Do I have a list of the games I've played? Um, not really. All the games I've played are on my YouTube channel. Uh, which I understand is a long list to go through. Uh, I have organized most of them, I think, into uh, playlists, which it would help cut them down a fair bit. <clears throat> but... Might be some which I've missed. Uh, particularly earlier on. Okay. Let's save. A. Go. No. And go to the next area. Kuto's well. Ooh. Ruins. I have a YouTube channel. I do. Um, it's most it's pretty much just for uploading my uh, my Twitch streams after the fact. Because uh I know myself personally, I don't watch a lot of Twitch streams. I watch a lot of YouTube videos because the people who I watch uh, tend to stream at times which I can't watch live. Also, I, I suppose, I don't know. I like watching on YouTube more because it doesn't have the chat <laughs> active. The people I watch have large, rather active chats, so I can just watch it in my own time. And I can pause it and then come back to it later on. So for people who like that as well, uh, I upload all my video, all my uh, Twitch streams to YouTube so they can watch it in their own time. I was also doing some other videos earlier on. But they've kind of fallen to the wayside. I apologise if anyone who's watching this looking forward, um, was enjoying those. Being a bit vague here. I've been meaning to make a video about stuff. Oh well. Um, let me see. In camp, save, a, o. But yes, my YouTube channel is just, uh, it's just mech fall. Ooh, you see some bloodthirsty kobolds. Combat. Okay, uh, go there. Guard. Uh-oh. Archers! Aim. Oh yeah! Move forward. Guard. Cast. Sleep. Target. Yep, that's perfectly fine. I was afraid for a moment it might be a bit too far away. It might have been just on the edge. Guard. <laughs> that kobold at the back there is actually stuck behind his fellows because they're all asleep in front of him and he can't get past them. <laughs> Okay, you can start dealing with... Well, I should have gone for the other one because now they had all the kobolds free. What's that come by for you, deep backside later on? Uh, go there. Guard. Attack. That kobold. There we go. Uh, guard. Guard. Move forward a bit, guard. And there. And get the other archer. Because they're the biggest threat. And they're starting to flee. Well, all the ones which are awake are fleeing. Guard. 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 And there we go. Done. Guard. Done. Quit. Done. Guard. Done. Guard. Guard. No. 
We get 17 experience points. Whoopee. Uh, take the money. 208 copper and 6 silver. And have a look at the items. What have we got? Just junk again. But, you know. Uh, yes, I do want to go back and claim it. Go. Okay, save. Uh, B. Because we did cast some magic during that. Rise, sleep. Yes, Elspeth, you didn't cast any spells. Uh, that's fine. Rudely interrupted. Ooh, hello, that's a new enemy. You are suddenly face to face with armed gnolls. I was going to say they're lizardmen, but uh, good thing I hold, held off on that. Because apparently these are gnolls. Though I don't remember hyenas looking so green. Uh, now my head's just full of the weird, of the yipping noises they make in Baldur's Gate. Combat! Gnolls. Ah, yes. We see here, gnolls are big creatures. They take up two squares rather than one. They also have ten hit points. Uh, let me have a look. Gnoll. Uh, ten hit points. Scores are, I'm reading off a little pop-up which, uh, appears when I mouse over the, uh, Unit squares on the map here. Um, they have scores of 10. Saves are 14, 15, 16, 17, 17. I forget what those are for. I think that's for like resistance versus magic. Fire, frost, poison, death magic and something else. Sleep maybe? Um, AC is 5. Thacko is 16. I'll see AC is... Two, Thacko is 18. So they actually have a bit of an easier time hitting us. But the AC is 5, which is higher than all but two of our characters. Okay. Two squares means that we actually have an easier time hitting them because you can hit them in any, either of those two squares. Though, I don't know whether that means we can actually make them go to sleep. They might have too many hit points. I believe sleep works on how many hit points the enemy have. Let me just check this in the manual. Uh, let me see. Mm. Is this cold? Detect magic? Curse? No, that's clerical spells. Uh, burning Hands, Charm, Magic Missile, Sleep. There we go. This spell puts up to 16 targets to sleep for 5 rounds. Um. Really? It only has a, re a range of uh, 9 by 9 or 3 by 3 squares. How would it put 16 targets to sleep? Uh, 16 targets to sleep for 5 rounds per level of caster. The least powerful targets are affected first, and the bigger the monster, the fewer of them are affected. Monsters above a certain power are not affected at all. No saving throw. Hmm. That really doesn't tell me much. I'm pretty sure in Border Skate it was always like... A monster with hit points of like... 2d4 or something like that are put to sleep. Anything higher than that isn't put to sleep. But, uh, Baldur's Gate is... AD&D, &D, I think? And I don't know if this is AD&D. &D. Might be. Or it might be second edition. Anyway. Hmm. Oh, we'll try anyway. What have we got to lose? Um, cast it there. Well, we put three of them asleep. Oh, yeah. Oh, we only hit one of them? Um. Bonk. <laughs> As I said, it doesn't matter which square you hit them on. Because the whole thing is the creature. They're armed with, like, tridents. In Baldur's Gate, they're armed with hellbirds.
No. 51 experience points. That wasn't too much of a problem. 60 Electrum and 40 gold. Pretty nice. And that's it. Uh, let's pool and share out our money to even it out. I'm going to save. Go. Do you have any magic to memorize, Volkmar? No, you don't. Egrim. Elspeth, you do. A sleep spell. Egrim. Memorize. Sleep spell. Rest. Nice! Good. Save. A. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's continue exploring these ruins. Oh, and it's daytime. Oh, hello. See some bloodthirsty gnolls. Again. Uh, can we parlay with them? The battle begins. Nope. Ow. Uh, cast a sleep spell. Put those to sleep. There we go. Start poking them. And that one. There we go. Done! Guard. Guard. No. One experience points. Uh, take. Get the same loot again. Uh, pool and share. We did rest. Hmm. Gotta save on B. Okay. Oh, hello. You see some bloodthirsty kobolds. Uh. Parley? Battle begins. Hey, nice. Get that guy. Because while they're in melee, they can't use their ranged attacks. I suppose cast a sleep spell. If I can prevent damage to my guys, I will. Guard. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You can miss on both of your attacks. And there. And there. And there. Uh. Get him. Damn it. Ow! Stop that, you little sod. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah. Damn it. Uh. Get those other two which are sleeping up there. Charge! There we go. You can finish off the last one. And there we go. Wasn't too bad. We did get hit though. Yay! Everyone do the dance. Um, take the money. 208 copper and 6 silver again. And it's the same loot again. I'm honestly, I'm just going to leave it. Exit. No. There we go. Okay, so we can see this area is uh, kind of more threatening than, than the last one. We can just return to the previous area to rest up. Have to go through the door. You have surprised a party of lizardmen. Hey there, lizardmen. Combat. Battle begins. There's the lizardmen all the way at the end of the hallway. Guard. Guard. Aim. Yeah, there they are. Lizard men. Okay, let's see. They have uh, 11 hit points. Scores are 10, 3, 10, 10, 10, 10. I don't know what the scores are. Saves are 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. Armor is 4. Thacko is 16. They have 1 attack per round at 1d8 plus 0. Or two attacks per round at 1d2 plus zero. Hmm. 
Oh, hit one with a rock. Bonk. <laughs> Didn't do anything. Thank God. God. And attack again. God. 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 There we go. He's going all the way up there. Like going around the corner or something? Aim. Manual. Da, 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 da. Uh, advance to here. Guard. 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 And this one hit. I don't think there's a penalty for attacking targets further away with ranged attacks. Ow! Ow! Wow, he got two hits against me. Also note, these are only uh, one square big. So gnolls are actually quite large. Aim, manual. He's only got one hit point, come on! Yay! Uh, guard. Move up. Ah, there was something there. Uh, I moved into the square next to the Elizabeth, uh, and then I moved to another square and I wasn't attacked. So it seems like if you move from one square to another, while still within range of that one guy, uh, it doesn't count as, uh, it doesn't, um, mean you take the, uh, attack of opportunity. Which is nice. Oh, come on! Ah. Oh. You're just failing to the point that, uh, you know, you want people to get hurt, aren't you? God. 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 On! Aim. Hit. Thank you. Okay, move. Cast. Cure life wounds. On a rather. Continue battle? No. Yay! 58 experience points. What's... what do we get? We don't get anything. Right. I'm going to retreat back to the previous area. And we can encamp. Save. B. O. Ogma. Memorize a spell. Actually, no. Uh, cast a spell. Tech magic. Curse. And bless. Memorize for cure life wounds. Egg room. Memorize sleep. Elspeth. Sleep. And rest. Thank you. Ogmar, cast your your spells. Belagar. Nice. Nerala. Okay. Uh, two. Nearly. And you don't have any spells. Arise them again. Here we go. Uh, exit. Save. B. No. Rest. Rudely interrupted. Surprised by orcs. And they're going to cut us down to size, are they? Lucky rolls all around. Oh, cast sleep on them. And... Well, hit him, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Cast another sleep spell. There. Uh. 
Sometime, my guys will actually hit. Cast another sleep on them. Okay, now everyone's asleep. You can't miss. Uh, no. 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 Okay. Yay, 27. Uh, take 240 silver. Pool and chair and exit. Um. It seems like resting in a room last time helped, so let's go. Up here. Maybe we can rest in here. It's a one by one screw. It's a one by one room. Uh, behind a secret door. Perhaps it'll be better to sleep in here. I don't know whether the game actually does things like that. Okay, good. You're memorizing those? Yes. Cast. Cure like wounds. On Rala. But she can't dodge the attacks of orcs. Oh, that's great. You know. Heal for one hit point each spell. But all the time in the world. Cast. Rala. There we go. And yourself. No, not that. I don't want to protection from. I don't want to resist cold spell. Okay. Exit. Save. B. No. Rest. Does seem like maybe we are protected in here from attacks. And there we go. Okay. That's fine. Mm. Memorize. Bless. There we go. And you can rest. Thank you. Rest. Save. Exit. Save. And there we go. Okay. Now we can leave again. And continue exploring the uh, well. What's it called? Kuto's well. We've entered slightly above where we were before, but that's fine. What's over here? Hmm. A room. You can tell that it's a room because the roof has changed colour. There's a roof here, rather than being a blue for the sky. Is there anything on the ground in here? Nope. There's also a different coloured wall texture there. You are surprised to party of kobolds. Uh, combat. Battle begins. Uh, Volkmar. This is a perfect time for you to use Bless. Guard. Guard, 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 aim. Let's just wait for them to get a bit closer to us. Okay. Bless! Nice! Hit him again. Uh, oh, fine. Oh, I didn't get a sleep spell. You didn't memorize your other sleep spell. Oh, well. There we go. And, uh, guard, I suppose. Yeah, guard. 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 Just wait for them to come into melee. Guard. You can pick them off with your sling. Uh, did I mention it doesn't matter which character gets the killing blow?
Get over here, you little sod. Ah. Aha! Oh, they're fleeing. Get him. You'll see also my guys are moving f shorter distances than they used to. It's because they're wearing heavier armor. The uh, plate mail they're wearing is actually slowing them down. Guard. Guard. No. Take. Money. 208 and 6. And yeah, yeah, we can leave all that. Exit. Nope. Here we go. Ooh, hello. You're being avoided by some gnolls. Hmm. Should we attack them? Well, let's just wait. The monsters flee. Okay, that's fine. Well, we don't have to attack them if we don't want to. Ooh, it's a little garden area. Hello. You are surprised by gnolls. Well, great. Are they the gnolls which just flit from us? That's quite a few. Ow. Uh, Elspeth. Oh, you don't have any spells. Um. Go down to there. Cast Cure Light Wounds. You don't have any spells either. Oh dear. You healed two hit points. Lovely. Ow. Great. Falkmar's dying. No, I didn't want to guard. I wanted to bandage. Let them miss Olympics. Commence. Ah. Uh. Well done. Um, actually, move to here. Guard. Hey! You don't like seven points of damage to him. That's pretty impressive. Is your little sling? Ow. Uh. Come on, mages. It's up to you. Oh boy. Ow. Bandage. I only got one hit point. Both of them only have one hit point. And they fled. Great. Done. God. No. Ah. Uh, I feel like just in loading because our cleric is down and uh, we can't heal then. We don't have any healing potions. <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears throat> And I don't think people heal health over time from resting in this. It's not something I've noticed. And we'd have to go all the way back to town. Uh, will it list anything about sleep? Oh, for every 24 uninterrupted hours of resting in camp, every wounded character regains one hit point above and beyond any recovery gained from healing magics. One of the most important aspects of the encamp menu is the chance to rest. Characters catch their normal sleep without having to go to camp. However, to memorize spells or heal naturally, specific rest time is necessary. Uh, the initial resting time is established by anyone who is memorizing spells. The screen will show the days, hours, and minutes necessary for the spell using mem members of the party to memorize or pray for the spells they want to memorize. 
Memorizing any spells at all takes a minimum of four hours. Three level spells take third level spells take a minimum of six hours. See the magic menu for further descriptions of memorizing spells. Uh, rest can be interrupted by any random encounter. Only take long rests in safe places such as inns, hideouts, or secure buildings. Okay. Yeah, so we'd have to rest 24 hours for to heal one hit point. Um, eh. I suppose we could do that. There's no time limit for this game as far as I know, so... That's fine. Let's... Go over here, then? Maybe we can rest in this room. Camp. Save on C. And rest. One day. Rudely interrupted. Okay. I'm just going to quit. <laughs> and we'll uh, launch the game before all that malarkey happened. Ugh. Mm. There we go. Uh, load game, and I think it was under B. Okay, there we go. B. Search. And there. Okay. So let's go back to our little hidey hole. Bash the door down again. Whoever keeps repairing these doors is being kept in work by us quite effectively. Uh, no. Volkmar. Memorize. I wish you could see what spells you already have memorized. You have to go to cast for that, actually. Just have four, three cure light wounds. Uh, but it would be nice to see what spells you can memorize. You've already got memorized in your uh, list of spells. Um. Okay. Rest. Yeah. This room seems like it's uh, small enough that we can't get attacked in it, which is very nice. Hey. Oh. Exit. Okay, let's head back to Kuto's well. You surprised the party of gnolls. Wait, monsters flee. Okay. Let's go around here. You spot a small band of sickly kobolds carefully picking its way through the rubble. When they spot you, they stop and stare in surprise. The kobolds are trying to sneak off. Hmm. Parley. Haughty, sly, nice, meek, or abusive? Um, I don't know. Nice. Kobolds fawn on you pathetic. Oh, fawn on you pathetically. Please, oh please, noble ones, don't hurt us. They beg. We were sent on a scouting mission by our king. Rumours of a wondrous pool came to him in his lair. Ooh. We are all that remains of the mighty band that was sent west to, to test the tales. We mean you no harm. We only seek to return to our families. What do you do? Release them? Fight? Question them? Uh, can we question them? I don't want to annoy them. Question them. The kobolds collapse into a pathetic mewling heap. Please, well, please don't hurt us, they wail. We know nothing. We are poor lost souls looking for our homes. What do you do? Ah, uh, release them. The kobolds scamper quickly away. Just before passing out of sight, one turns and raises his hand in a gesture, as if to wave farewell. Ah. Okay. Uh, save. Hey, I think I attacked them in my, uh... <laughs> Am I playing on my own? I haven't finished this game on my own. But... Uh... I think I probably attacked them last time. I didn't actually know that you could do that. As I said in the first series of these, um, when we were making our characters, if there's one thing Baldur's Gate taught me about these old CRPGs, as well as other ones I've played, is that they are very heavily skewed towards having a good party. So just sort of generically act as good and nice as possible, and you'll get things like that happening. <laughs> um, it may seem weird to give the benefit of the doubt 
to kobolds or whatever since I've been attacking you for the whole time, but I don't know. Um, taking like an evil route doesn't really work in these games. You know, just attacking everything means that you miss out on things. Okay, let's uh, save again. Did I just save? Probably. Go in. Oh, it's a ruined building. I like how the uh, ruined walls actually show up as dotted lines on the map. Okay, there's nothing there. Hmm. Ooh, this is inside. There's apparently nothing in here, though. But I suppose we could maybe rest in there? I'm not too sure. Oh, more kobolds. You were surprised by kobolds. And these ones attack us. I kind of hope possibly the kobolds weren't just bluffing their way and uh, actually had something of power which we would have made use of. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Uh, do I want to cast a sleep spell on these? I'm gonna try not because we are level two. These shouldn't be too much of a problem for us now. Okay, move, guard. Nice. Guard. Forward, attack. Attack, cut. Yeah, oh yeah. You missed both attacks. Oh boy. Manual. There we go. Oh yeah. Probably got to start fleeing. Guard. Yep, and there they go. Seventeen experience points. Hooray. Uh, take. Money, 208, and 6, and the pool of items, yeah, it's just stuff. Nope, that's fine. Save a, because we didn't cast any magic during that um, battle. Oh, hello. You surprised a party of lizardmen. Hey, we get the close-up image of the lizardmen. Pretty cool. Um, we parlay with them. Haughty, sly, nice, meek, or abusive. Nice. You have offended the lizardmen. They attack. Oh. <laughs> There's only three of them. But they do have 11 hit points each. Sleep. I'm going to cast it here. Night, night, or rather. Oh, one of them didn't go to sleep. Damn it! Oh boy. Oh, good thing we killed it. <laughs> that could have gone very badly. Okay. Done. Guard. Done, guard. Quit. Done, guard. Done, guard. Nope. 49. Uh, experience points. Yay. And they didn't drop anything. Irala's still asleep, though. That doesn't count as a room, I don't think. Oh, surprise a party of lizardmen. Uh, wait. Monsters flee. Let's, uh, try and rest in here. Camp, save, B, O. Oh, Irala's awake now. Okay. Uh, Volkmar. Magic. Aste, cure life wounds. Hey, nice. That was a reasonable amount of hit points. Uh, yeah, save on A. Okay. Yeah. Nothing in there. 
nothing there. Here's the well. Before you lies Kuto's well. It is a source of water in all seasons. You are east of Kuto's well. Thanks, game. You are just south of Kuto's well. You are just west of Kuto's well. Uh. Hmm. Oh, hello. You stumbled on some waiting kobolds. Oh, they get the attack on us. What's out on the ground there? Is that like a banana on the ground? <laughs> right there. <laughs> it looks like a banana. Um, probably is. <laughs> get that leader. There we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ah, uh, no, we don't need to cast spells. Come on, just kobolds. Oh, I didn't want you to move that far. But oh well. You get two attacks and you just miss on both of them. Now the kobolds are attacking you. Bet you feel right silly. Guard. Eh. Poke. Ow. Back him. There we go. Ow. We did actually kill him. There goes another one. Guard. There we go. Ah. Eh. No. 16 experience points. Uh, take money 192 and 6. And the loot is. Mm. No, I think it's fine to leave that. Nope. A band of kobolds claims, climbs from the wall behind you and attacks. Okay, <laughs> round two. Good thing I didn't cast those spells. Vengeance! Okay, let's cast a sleep spell. You lot right there. Night, night. Sleep, uh, guard, not sleep. Nice. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And aim. Oh. Exit. Manual. There we go. Guard. 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 Nope. Take. Money. 192. Six. It's interesting there's no variation in how much money they drop. It's just, this is how much they drop, every time. Uh, ah, we don't need that. Okay, now we're inside. I'm going to save. Anything in here? look like it. Wander into the plaza near Kuto as well. Uh, now. Pfft. You're being avoided by some kobolds. Wait. The monsters flee. I bump into the wall and some kobolds pop out of the wall. Oh, hello again. You were surprised by kobolds. That's quite a few kobolds. They're all grouped up around the door. I think they're trying to go around, but they can't. So their buddies are all blocking the path. Oh yeah! Get you. Uh, oh 
hold off. I think I'm going to get Volkmar to cast a Cure Light Wounds on himself. Go. Wham! Wham! You missed. Hoya! Hoya! Hey! Hit. I do like the sound for when you hit. It's very satisfying. Even if it's just a whip. Considering the uh, very limited sound effects in the game, it's uh, it does pretty well. And I'm pretty sure this would all be a this would all be done on the PC speaker. So, oh yeah. Uh, actually no. Aim. Go. Are you going to start fleeing soon? Yeah, they are. Okay. Just uh, cast you will like wounds hard on yourself. Oh great, you healed one hit point. Nope. Yay. Take the money. Two hundred and eight. Wait. Overloaded. Damn it. No, we have too much money. And six. Exit. Nope. Okay. Um. A surprise a party of kobolds. Wait. The monsters flee. We'll go back to the slums and head up here. Bash the door down. Go into our little cubby hole. Camp, save, no, magic, Pokemon, memorize, what do you have, you have a bless, okay, um, two cure light wounds and a detect magic, Egrim, asleep, Elspeth, asleep, go, and rest, probably could have, Memorized more spells actually for for healing purposes. Bonk. And Arella. Bonk. Cast that. And bless. We'll just memorize four heal spells. As I said before, we do get better healing spells later. We have to get high level. Uh cast. Cast. And there we go. Okay, Volkmar. A bless, curse, cure life wounds, and a detect magic. There we go. Rest. Nice. Save. A. No. Exit. I'm going to go back to town also to offload our f fairly gotten gains. They are all monstrous, evil creatures. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Proclamate. And here. Okay. Uh, save. A. No. Go in. Hey! Yes! I want to pull my money. And Balagar will want to search, because he has a bunch of stuff. So he's got that jewellery, but we don't want to sell that. Can you wear that jewelry? Can. Hmm. Okay. Is that like a uh, magical something? I don't think it is. Got to identify it. Yeah, sure. You can't tell me anything about it. Okay. So it is just jewelry. I was pretty sure that if it was a magical thing, it would say amulet rather than jewelry. Uh, sell. Yes, sell. Oh, no! Oh, damn it. Okay. 
Stop. Quit. Reload. I saw the price of that and I was like, oh, damn it. That will be a shield plus one. Hmm. That means other characters will be dropping shield plus ones as well. Oh, hum. Oh, well. Uh, load a... There we go. That's why I save. Yes. Show me your wares. Uh, pool. Okay, so apparently, Irala, your shield here is a uh, shield plus one. This one, I think. Yes. What about this one? No. You can sell that one. Pool. Nothing. Okay, so if you unequip this, AC is three. We equip it. AC is two. If we take that off and put this other shield on, your AC is one. Ooh, nice. So it is a uh, shield plus one. Um, that like ah. Uh, hmm. I think your AC is 1, so Arada's being AC 1 will be good as well. We go into your items, sell this shield. Yep, cool. Exit. Uh, exit. Dalagar, two items. And we also don't need to uh, spend, waste that 200 gold identifying the item. When it doesn't do anything. Just like, oh yeah, I'll tell you what it is for 200 gold. Okay, here you go. What is it? It's nothing. Oh. Uh. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. View items. Do you have anything? No, you don't. I gotta identify this scroll so we know what it is. Yes. Oh, you can't tell me anything about it. Ugh. I suppose you just have to read it to be able to know what it is. Uh view items. Yeah. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Um, did I just leave my money there? No, I didn't. He didn't say anything. Pool and... But how much money do we have? <laughs> A stupid amount. Also, two gems. Um... Okay, share it out. And it should be... Oh, it's still in large denominations. Maybe if we buy something, it will shrink it down. I think the other stores allow you to, like, buy jewellery and all that, which you can use to, like, store your money in, but since you can't buy and sell at the same price... Don't fully understand that. Um, or if that's even something you can do. Oh, Balagar's AC is zero. Fine. Um, appraise. You have a fine collection of one gem. The gem is valued at 50 GP. Sell it. Appraise. Gem. Gem is valued at 50 GP. Sell it. Pool. That is a lot of copper. Can we buy something from you? Let me see. Uh, Belagar is currently equipped with a battle axe, and I had him with a battle axe because it's particularly appropriate for a dwarf. However, it's probably not doing that much damage. Let's see, a battle axe is 1 to 8. The same also against a large creature. Hmm... We could just give him a long sword, 1 to 8 and 1 to 12, versus large creatures. P 
pike only takes one hand? What? It does one to six, but it does two to twelve versus a man-sized creature. Larger than a man-sized creature. I suppose you- no, you'd have to use both hands to- Well, it says pike, but it also says all. Hmm. Ransor, two to eight, two to eight. That's two hands, so. Scimitar is one to eight, one to wait. That's exactly the same as a, ba as a uh, battle axe. There's a trident here. One-handed. Two to seven. And three to twelve against damage versus large demand size. And it's only one-handed. Wow. I feel like equipping our dwarf with a trident for that. Three to twelve. Two-handed sword is one to ten. Three to eighteen versus large demand size. I think that's like the highest, uh, highest damage the, uh, in the list there. In the list I'm reading currently, yeah. 3 to 12. A Bardage is also does 3 to 12. Or 2 to 8. Uh, let me see. I think a Bardage is like a large axe on a pole. It's like a two-handed, a large two-handed axe thing. Um, I think a Vuj is like a halberd. Though the specific differences are lost on me, I'm afraid. Yeah, can I buy a trident for our dwarf? Considering that damage it does. It might be too big for him. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a trident. It's only four gold too. Oh sure, buy one. There we go. Take. Hey, look at that. It compiled all of our money. Share it out. View. I think I gave it to you. Yes, I did. Trade it to Belagar. And Belagar, uh, drop the battle axe and equip the trident. 1d6 plus 5. What is that compared to the battle axe? 1d8 plus 4. Wait, what? 1d6. Oh, hang on. No, it says a trident is a 2d7. 2 to 7. Um. It doesn't count it as a pole arm. Hmm. Don't really understand what the difference here is. I don't think there's like proficiencies in items. Now, oh, let's equip the trident. We'll see how it goes. Also, he's, uh, he's icon up the top there. As I said, when we're making characters, it won't change. I might be able to modify them if I went into the character creation screen again and change it, but... Okay, let's enter the slums again. And continue on. That's good. We're just running around with like a hundred platinum coins each. Bash. Actually reminding me of the money I think they had in rune craft. No, runes rune RuneScape. I think that had a lot of denominations of money. I barely played that. I had a free month at one time. And, uh... It was... And I, uh... It was sort of spent bumbling around doing quests which weren't actually for my class. Wondering what I'm supposed to do. And my computer constantly restarting because it couldn't play the game without crashing. Surprise, a party of kobolds. Oh, wait. Monsters flee. Okay. Save. A. No. In here. Is there anything inside? Oh, hello. You're being avoided by some gnolls. Wait. Monsters flee. I mean, if they... Oh, hello. You are surprised by kobolds. Ow. Ow. Come on, you've got an AC of, like, one. 
Why are you getting hit by? No. Um. Delay. Oh, you can hit something. That speaks well of the, uh, weapon, I suppose. Um, just stand there. Just, yeah, whatever. Oh yeah! Well, there goes another one. God. Ow. You buy, you spend all this money buying armor and it just feels like you don't see the benefits of it. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, and they're fleeing. Guard. Guard. Uh, no, I could don't continue battle. Take the money. 208 and 6. Take. Hmm. So, okay. Um, Volkmar. Detect. And then have a look at the pool. Now, if there was a magical item there, it would have a little uh, asterisk, asterisk next to it. But since there isn't one, that means none of that is magical. Okay, let's uh, camp here, I suppose. Save, B, O. Actually, that's not, because we got attacked here. Let's go back to our little hidey hole in the other area. Are we going for time? Okay. Uh, bash. Go in here. In camp. Save. E. No. Magic. Uh, memorize. Just to detect magic. Actually, no, don't do that. Uh, Volkmar. I want you to memorize another cure light spells. And you can cast light spell. Oh, uh, cure light wounds. Hey, nice. Uh, no. Two of them. Cast. Cast. Panirama. Nice. And everyone's healed up. Good. Volkmar. Detect magic. Egrim. That's fine. Elspeth. That's fine. Rest. Yes. Save. A. No. Exit. And I think I'm going to hold off on leveling our characters up until everyone's got up a level. Just so that we could do the wall at once. Otherwise I'll have to be constantly going back and forth. Even though leveling Balagar up now would be beneficial. <laughs> it makes things easier. Let's do them all at the same time. Okay. Save. Okay. Oh, let's go in here. Hmm. There's a roof on this place, but there is nothing in here. Just explore the rest of this little area here. Mostly just ruined buildings. Oh, also, for the area, there's a map of the area. Which you can see in game. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't differentiate between destroyed walls and solid walls. You can also move around on this map. Just like on this one, but you know. See the visuals. Also, I've got the map up on the uh, right. So we don't need to run around blind like that. Mmm, it's a room. I'm going to save. Go in. Hello? Any monsters in here which need their butts kicking? No. Anything to find? Search. Nothing. Well. 
Now, loot lust must be satiated elsewhere. Uh, there's a door going down to the south. Let's save. No, so, where's this go? Mendor's library. Ooh. There's a river. And you can see I'm moving, but it just looks exactly the same. Massive building here. It's a big square, I believe. There's the door. We'll go around it, map it out completely. I don't think there's any uh, encounters outside here. Nope. Okay. And I believe there's another exit? Yes, on the west there. Okay, can we actually go in here? Uh, let's see. Save. A. No. Uh, bash, pick, or knock? Knock? Pick. Bash. Hmm. Nothing. Can we go in the back way? Uh. Hello? Or is that the front door? That looks more like the front door to me. Hey. Okay. Uh, knock. Nothing. Pick. Do I have to, like... No. Bash it! <laughs> okay. Well. Can't get in there just yet. What's this? Okay, save a... What's in here? Ooh, nice! A little fountain. A door leading that way. And a little room. With nothing in it. I believe you have to step into the square to be able to get the message that you found something, if there's something there. That's why I'm sort of going back and forth a bit. Just to make sure that I'm not standing on an item which I could find. Uh, okay, nothing there. Mm, nothing there. There's another exit there. And there seems to be a big room down here. And there's not that many uh, combats anymore. We've seemed to have either scared off or fought most of the monsters. Okay. Save a no. What's in here? Hmm, three doors. One on the east. Let's go there. Nothing. One on the west. Nothing. Anything in the hallway? Nope. Oh, hello. A lizardman, lead, li a lizardman leads a pack of giant lizards on patrol before a door that has been nailed closed. Seeing you, the monsters attack. Hello. Ooh, look at that. Hey, it's a lizardman with a bunch of lizards. Uh, they're called giant lizards. They have 16 hit points. Uh, scores are 10, 3, 10, 10, 10, and 10. Saves are 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. I think that's the same as the lizardman. They have 85, Thacko 16, and they have one attack per round at 1d8 plus 0. 
So they've got slightly worse uh, AC armor class than the Lizardmen, but they have four more hit points? Five more hit points. I can math. Otherwise, their stats are basically exactly the same. Also, they're two squares large horizontally rather than vertically, like the Nolds. Take that. Being so large, that does actually impact uh, how they can maneuver. Because they're going to get into each other's way more often. Sleep. Night, night. <laughs> we made his butt fall asleep. Um, cast it over here. Ah, oh, we did make the lizardman sleep. There we go. Dead. Okay, but they're not all asleep. Uh, three of them are asleep. And that one is actually stuck down there because this one's asleep in the doorway. So you can stand here and you can guard. And you can hit him. You can move up to here. To quit. To there and guard. You can move to here and cast a Cure Light Wounds. Guard. Wham! Ha! Meh. <laughs> uh, that's the noise it makes, isn't it? Meh. There we go. Bonk. Nothing. Back. Bonk. And there we go. Okay. Guard. Guard. Don't continue the battle. We receive 99 experience points. But not one level. Uh, and we get nothing from it. I don't know why lizard men don't drop any items. I know why lizards don't. I mean... It's... Or giant lizards don't. I suppose it's not like other games where they drop like 5 gold. Yeah, well, exit. Uh, save. B. O. Okay, and go this way. Nothing down there. Nothing there. This door was apparently boarded. The door has been nailed shut. Will you force it open? Yes, the door is freed. A wide-eyed woman is seated on a rug. At your entry she stands. Greetings, bold ones. I have long awaited your coming. My time here is short, for the world enters a new age. An evil spirit from an unholy pool guides your enemies. It hides behind a fair countenance. Be not deceived. With that, the woman is gone. Hmm. Okay. Uh, interesting. Okay, so let's see. Kuto's well woman said I don't know. Where fair face It's the well spirit. There we go. <laughs> What's this well? Well. Or this pool. Unholy pool. I'll put pool rather than well. It's the pool spirit. <laughs> it smells like chlorine. <laughs> okay. Uh. Fine. Let's uh, explore this room. Maybe there's something in here. Beneath the rug, you find a compartment containing arms and armor. Do you take them? Yes. Party found treasure. Each character receives 533, 533 experience points. Ooh. Detect. Orkmar is detecting. Take. Banded mail. I have quarter staff and braces. They're all magical. And they're mine. All oh, mine. Um, go into here. Actually, can we see? Hey, okay. Detect magic does actually allow us to detect magic in any of our inventories. That's nice. I'll actually write a note for myself for that. Because there's a lot of little details to remember. Notes. Detect magic. De 
protects in all inventories. Not that it means much once it's in our inventory, because then we could just sell it, and if it's got a high cost, it's magical. But it just makes things a bit easier, I suppose. Uh, like I could sift through all the short swords and drop them all, if none of them are magical. Um. Okay, exit. So, banded mail. Uh, what is banded mail compared to plate mail? Banded mail. Okay, so banded mail has an AC of four. Plate mail has an AC of three. However, banded mail allows you to move nine squares, where plate mail allows you to move six squares. So we could swap plate mail over for banded mail, get more movement, uh, but have the same AC. That might be beneficial. I think Volkmar is wearing plate mail. Yes. Okay, so... Mm, who would I go to want to move around as much as possible? Volkmar, probably, because he's a spellcaster. If he's far away, I'd want him to get within range to... Uh, Cast a spell on someone. No. AC's two. Did that change? AC one. Oh, it did change. Is it not... Wait, hang on. Does it give some other benefit? Item. Hmm... This arbalist is saying AC is 4 for banded mail. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to identify that. I'll equip the plate mail anyway. Uh, and the quarter staff. Trade that to... Uh, Agri Elspeth got this... Mm, got the, uh... Co cloak, so... Egrin can have that. Ooh, and braces. Uh, trade them to Elspeth. Are they braces of plus six? Let's see. Uh, no, wrong person. No. Come on. View. There we go. AC is four. Uh, if I take them off again. AC is ten. Ooh, they're braces of AC. Uh, oh, minus six or something like that. I forget the name exactly for them. And Egrim. Your Thacko is 19, damage is 1d6 one one plus 2. Thacko is 18, 1d6 plus 3. So you can see having a magical item also improves our to hit chance. That's what Thacko is. 2 hit, armor class 0. Uh, don't ask me exactly how it works. I can read it out, but I've read it multiple times and it hasn't stuck into my head exactly how it works, so. Let's see. Thacko is an acronym standing for to hit armor class zero. First to the role required for a character to score a hit on a hypothetical opponent with an armor class of zero, which in turn is used to calculate other attack rolls. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, if you have an armor class of zero. I just, I'm looking at a chart here. Uh. So. I, I just, I don't know, it just, I don't know. It's got like, oh, 20 sided die score to hit by level of attack, attacker. So. Okay, a level 1 to 2 character attacking a opponent of armor class 10 requires a roll of 10 or higher, I think. Um, whereas an opponent with an armor class of, say, minus 10 against a character with 1 or 2, uh, it, I think they require a 25 to hit? On a 20-sided dice. So you'd have to actually buff your character to be able to do that. Minus 10 is, like, ridiculously impre impressive armor, though. Uh, against the uh, orcs and all that, I think they've been having an armor class of, like, 5 
So against one to two characters, we've been having a 15. So we need to get like 15 or higher, I think. And a 20, I think, is an, always a hit. Maybe. <laughs> I haven't done too much tabletop role-playing. Uh, for example, character with a Thacko of 14 must roll between 14 and 20 on a d20 to hit an opponent with AC 0. Against an opponent with AC 6, he hits on a roll between 8 and 20. 14 minus 6 equals 8. Okay. Okay. So, we've got a Thacko of 18 on Eggroom here. That means he has to roll an 18, 19, an 18, 19, or 20 to hit a character with 0 armor. Uh, if there was a character with an armor class of 8, then he would be able to hit between a 10 or a 20 because you minus 8 from his Thacko. So, I think I'm understanding it. Uh, I mean, it gets more confusing when it's minus because I think then it increases it. So it's like, if he has a Thacko of 18 to hit armor class 0, if he's up against armor class minus 1, he would need to roll a 19 or a 20 to hit them. It would actually be a bit harder to hit them. Okay, I think I have it in my head. <laughs> we'll see if it remains there. Uh, but yes, yay, we got some loot. And uh, there is, there's a thing we need to do, which is go down the well here. However, I think we'll leave that for next time. We've cleared out another area pretty much completely. Actually, completely, I believe. Um, and we're nearly all up a level. Uh, Egrim and Elspeth are still waiting on a level. So I think I will save it here. Save under... Uh, actually, hang on. Save under B. Exit. We won't save right here. We'll go back to our little hidey hole. And I'll rest and memorize spells if need be. I did cast some against those lizards and lizardmen. Bashed it all down. And, uh... Camp. Save. B. Just in case. Magic, uh, Volkmar, what do you have memorized? Cast. Bless and Curse. Okay, ooh, Scribe. So I think that means the two spell, the spell, the two spells we have on the scrolls are both Cure Light Wounds. Because he does have a, yeah, Clerical Scroll was two spells. So apparently that is both, those are both, uh, Cure Light Wounds. Ooh, ooh, actually that reminds me also. Um, Egrim, you have this magical use, use magic user scroll with one spell. Can't ready that. Uh, exit spells. Can I? Magic. Memorize. Read magic. Okay. Volkmar, memorize, I need a detect magic spell, and a cure light wound spell, Elspeth, oh, okay, now rest, cool, uh, Egrim, scribe, that's magic missile on that scroll, okay, so we don't need to, uh, scribe that spell, because we already know magic missile. Mm, okay. Um, so. Cast. Read magic, I suppose. And, uh, just memorize another sleep spell. Go. And rest. And there we go. Save under A. No. And we will leave it there for tonight. Ah, so. Uh, we've fought a bunch of goblins, orcs, kobolds, lizardmen now, gnolls, some giant lizards, clearing out the area mostly more than anything else. Slow going, but, you know, after this things will start picking up, there will be actually quests done and all that. So, yes. Uh, we're also nearly all up to level 3. Only waiting on Igrim and Elspeth, as I said. We've also got a nifty cloak of possible invisibility, as well as some other items which lower our AC. And uh, Balagar's now wielding a trident, somehow. <laughs> a 
apparently it deals more damage. So we'll see whether that stays. He'll probably, I'll probably replace it with a magical item just because magic items allow us to hit we uh, creatures which require magical items to hit. So you just want to, even if it's a short sword, you'll probably want to be using it rather than just a non-magical non long sword for that bonus. But anyway, that will be it for this one. Well, thank you very much for joining and I hope you'll join me for the next one. Uh, I'll stop the recording here.